Oh, we got a demo. Our first demo. We've graduated. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play this game on Insane Difficulties. As long as you're all set to nightmare speed, we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Hey, guess what? It's hard day. It is 63, and uh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so we have um, the whole day, of course, but uh, what I'm planning on doing uh, for most of the day is continuing uh, work on the roof of our, our A-frame here. I got started with this in the last uh, casual construction uh, episode, and I'm going to still do most of it off camera but i just wanted to kind of uh, show you uh, give you just a kind of a quick update on on how we're doing this uh so a couple things uh, that i want to show you first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to bust these out and we're going to i don't strictly need to do this but i'm you know I, it it might help it might be important but i'm also going to do this more for um for aesthetics too um but no, you know what? Actually, I take this back. I think we probably, it is going to be a good idea to do this. Anyways, what I'm doing is I'm going to put pillars all the way up to the top, uh, to the peak of the roof, um, you know, just to provide support because, you know, this is ex it's going to extend out quite a ways. And I'm not 100% positive that the SI is going to cooperate. So uh, we're just going to put some, some pillars in there. And I think what we'll do too is we'll put round pillars in there. Keep in mind, I think I've mentioned this to you guys, but in case I have it, um, keep in mind too that I am planning on making this look like a log cabin. We're going to paint it uh, to look like a log cabin when it's all set and done. So uh, let's choose the the wood pillar here, and we're going to have one on each side of the stairs uh, going all the way up to the top there. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll paint it to look like, you know, logs and so forth when the time comes. All right, so now um, what I need to do is I need to figure out exactly how high these are going to go. So, hmm, let's go one more, maybe two more, just kind of by eyeballing it. That might be correct, or I might need another one. We'll have to see. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave these blocks here too. Uh, just to kind of provide a little support as well. I think that that's actually going to look kind of neat, though. I, I like that. I like that. All right. Now, um, I also started this side, too, just so I could make sure I could get, you know, up and down the stairs. It is it is a little tight coming through here, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, in fact, I even kind of have to crouch a little bit to get down there. So uh, the other thing I wanted to do today, too, uh, before I let you go and bring you back when Horde Night starts is uh, we've got, you know, we've got plenty of grenades and uh, a decent supply well remember i well i don't know if you guys know this or not but i have several stacks of 762 already down at the base too um but i'll kind of double uh, you know i'll probably stop doing the building sometime around eight o'clock and then just double check and make sure we have everything we need but this this should be enough explosives to last the night plus i have you know a couple of extra uh pipe bombs too uh, if we need it. Oh, and I have another stack of grenades in here, too, now that I think about it. But the other thing I wanted to do on camera for you guys is um, a couple... I don't know if it was the last episode or the episode before then. Yeah, it was the one where we went through the church. Uh, so I think that was two episodes ago now, by the time you guys see this. And um, anyway, I found the sniper rifle uh, schematic. And we have a, another point to spend... And that means we can get Deadeye up to level 4, which means we can now make a blue uh, sniper rifle. So let's go Let's go ahead and get that started. I, I won't, probably won't use that on Horde Knight, but we will start definitely start using it as our long-range weapon. So let's see. We need 18 rifle, 90 steel, duct, scrap, and spring. Rifle, 18. Where are you at? Okay, I'm just going to grab all of them. We need a duct tape. We needed um, steel. I, I, I forgot again. <laughs> uh, let's just grab a stack of steel. And what else did we need? Oh, polymers and springs. Right, okay. So polymers and springs. And let's get this sucker going. What are we missing? Uh, 36, 120. Oh, duct tape. We need 30 duct tape? Really? Really? 
It takes 30 rolls of duct tape to make that thing. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> that's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right. Let's, uh, we need to make 20 more, but let's uh, actually turn all of this into duct tape because, of course, we always need duct tape for just about everything in this game. Um, so we can do this. Let's do about 16 in here really quick, and then we can do the other ones in here. Okay. Put the glue back. No, that's not what I want to do. Let's check these guys. Yeah, we need to replenish our forges. We're just going full bore here. I'm making concrete and steel and all kinds of stuff. Grab a couple more things of stone. Make another batch of cement. Grab that cement there. And then I'm just going to... Here, yeah, we'll cut those in half so we have an even amount going on both sides. So yeah, I'm slowly replenishing my, my concrete supply. Uh, we used up a whole bunch of it. When I, when I redid the horde base, but uh, it's coming back now. We used a little bit uh, the other day, too, when we made the uh, the drawbridges, which we can... I'll, I'll show that to you in a minute here if you haven't seen uh, the last episode. All right, so we should have enough duct tape now to make the sniper. All right, here we go. Blue sniper rifle coming up in eight and a half minutes-ish. It's a beautiful thing. Let's get all this stuff put back here. That could go in there, that can go in there. Rifle parts goes in there, and iron goes in here, as well as the steel. Yeah, so we've got this much steel uh, made up, plus I just... You know, we found the other crucible in that same episode where I found the sniper rifle schematic. Uh, so now I have two, uh, two crucibles, and, uh, you know, just cranking out the, the stone here. Looks like we're going to have to start going back for more iron too let's keep a little bit of scrap iron for other things that might need it and i'm just going to split this in half like so and uh, let's just keep making more forged steel we can't have enough forged steel uh, there we go okay so i still have over a stack uh, of iron ingots too because of course we need those for things as well. Okay, nice. Let's get our f extra food up there. All right, let's take a quick look at um, what was done uh, with the drawbridges in case you didn't catch uh, the last casual construction episode. So, yeah, basically, we put drawbridges in on both sides. Uh, they're not powered because I don't have the schematic or the, the skill or perks. Uh, yeah, but I I plan on upgrading these uh, to power the powered version uh, once we can, you know, once we can get it. One of the things they did with the drawbridges too is they uh, they updated them to five blocks wide. They used to only be four blocks wide, uh, so I had to widen my road a little bit to get that to fit. But uh, the game wouldn't let me put a block in here, but it still you still can't, or or more specifically, zombos still can't get through here. So uh, in case they were trying to attack from the top, but yeah, for some reason it just doesn't let me put anything there um even though you know like the little rail still kind of clips into the block but anyway <laughs> that's the way it works and then we essentially did the same thing on the other side this side was a little trickier just because it's kind of on the you know the steep part of the hill here but clunk it still kind of comes right to the edge here so it works out pretty good really i rarely come in this way though i usually um I, I come, I go out this way almost all the time, but I, I rarely come in this way just because it's so steep right here. So, you know, that does look a little goofy. I might, I might fill that in just because it looks a little goofy. I don't know. We'll see. It's not, it's purely an aesthetic thing. Um, cause the zombies couldn't get through. Well, they could if they broke all the way through the concrete, but that's not likely. All right. So I think that updates you on where we're at with uh, our construction endeavors. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to just work off camera um, until about 8 o'clock-ish or so. Actually, these are my normal blocks. 
and then uh, we'll stop with the construction uh, at that point. Hello, there we go. And I will, um, you know, make sure it, we, any last minute preparations that we need are uh, ready to go. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get this all done by then, but uh, we'll give it the good old college try, right? All right, guys, uh, I will see you down at the Horde base right before the start of Horde night. And uh, we'll see if the base is going to work. I hope it does. See you in a bit. Bye. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put like a pole here. So a flagstone pole. Um, so we need to get the rotation right. No, rotation. So that would be the rotation for over here. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. This will be the rotation for over here. That's this one here. And then that one there. I don't, I'm not expecting these to take a huge amount of damage, but they're just to prevent the Zombaruskis from glitching through like they were. We'll see, though. So we're just going to have to be a little more careful to make sure we get the explosive through the <laughs> through the crack there. Uh, but I think this is a necessary change because, like I said, yeah, we did have a few of them. Kind of, they, it's, it's like they came down at an angle and they just hit the edge of this and then would kind of get stuck there. And there was one or two times when they actually got through. Wow. That's a wolf. A wolf fell through. Look at that. How funny is that? All right. It's on, guys. It's on. Let's turn this sucker up. And let's do it. We are a little over two blocks into the next level. So I don't remember what else I had. Oh, I had the Molotovs in there. So let's see how we do for XP this time. We want to stand as close to the center as possible so that it pulls the longbows down into the, the funnel. And of course, we want to wait a little bit until we get a, a bit of them grouped up there. All right, let's do this. It's only a couple down there right now. Let's throw it down through here. Hmm. Come on, Zombos. Come on down the chute. They're, they're coming down, but they're not. There's not a ton of them. Alright, now we're starting to get some. Okay, let's check the the turbines here, light traps, whatever you want to call them. That one's good. Not getting as many as I was expecting, which is a little concerning. I just find it hard to believe that they would try and stop halfway up the funnel, which is pulling them down towards the center and start to try and dig through it. It just doesn't, wouldn't make sense for them to do that. And yeah, we got 4,500 XP out of that deal. The turbines and the fences do a really good job of keeping them down in the pit, that's for sure. I'm pleased with how they're performing. Okay, we got a turbine going to town there. And we got 1500 out of that deal. I know I need to take my atom junkies, but 
kind of don't want to take them until we can really get some big explosions going here. And this is just kind of like a trickle. Yeah, I got 4,900 on that one. Okay, well, let's check the turbines. That one's good. That one's good. That one needs a little bit of attention, and that one needs a little bit of attention. Let's take a look at our fences really quick, too. That one's good. That one needs, yeah, you gotta get the crosshair right on the center of that thing. I'm just gonna let him build up so we can get a, a big old explosion going. You have to kind of get right over the top of these two because they are pretty far down. All right, let's pop this. All right, this one should be a good one. Here we go. Still only got 54. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to say. I, I, I expected there to be more, more Zeeks come down here faster than they are. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So... I haven't seen any cops yet. Um, but I won't be surprised if they show up later. Well, it's working pretty damn good, except for the fact that we don't have very many zombies showing up. <laughs> they do seem to be falling more on the side I'm standing, which does make sense. And yeah, those turbines are good. All right, we got a nice little pile of them down there now. Seventy four hundred XP on that one. I wish there was some way we could put like a camera or something, maybe you know, up at the top, so we could see what the hell's going on up there. Not really any way to know though. get his ass kicked. Let's um, see if we can throw one of these down there without getting it on ourselves. There we go. Well, this seems to be working okay. It's just not the volume that I was expecting is all. Unless half of the horde is already halfway dug down to us by now. <laughs> it could be, too, that a lot of them are, for lack of a better way of putting it, fighting the funnel. You know? I don't know. Not really sure. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as it left my hand, I was thinking, ah, oh, that's not going to work. See, what the problem with the cops, okay, is that they'll, they take damage, right, from the fences or the turbines or splash damage from the explosives, and then they explode and s steal my kills, basically. I had that problem the last time I did this base, too. Okay, let's check fences. Oh shit, we lost a turban. Oh, you know why? Because of the cops. Oh man. Damn those cops. That's right, that's what it was. We're gonna have to we might have to start trying to kill those with our 
M60. Yep, that's what it was. It was a cop explosion that took that one out. My previous um, base that I did like this, I didn't actually have turbines. I just had fences on that one. Alright, we got our first XP point. So far, this isn't as productive XP-wise as our other base was, but it's a hell of a lot safer than <laughs> that other base. Way safer. We'd be, we'd be fighting for our life right now if we were still in that other base. This one, I mean, we're, we're very safe in this base as long as the Zombos cooperate, right, and come down the chute, which it appears like they, they are for the most part. Look at all the bags down there. It's nuts. Let's take another Atom Junkie. This looks like we got a pretty good buildup of them now. Seventy-two fifty. Fighter Monkey's getting up in the turbine there. Oh! Ow! Let's take a little bandage after that, after that deal. You know, I probably don't need to throw these quite as hard. I really just need to drop them down there. I don't want that cop. Well, cop's dead already, so it <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> so we were getting something like, what, two and a half, I think, levels in the other base. Last couple times we did it. We might manage to get just two levels out of this one. We'll see how it goes. But when we do the respec, I'm going to have maxed out um, explosive skill anyway, so that'll help a little bit. We'll do a little more damage. Is it just you, Edgar? Is that a copper? Yeah, it is. Uh, I want him blowing up. Gotta manage the coppers. Oh, well, so much for... <laughs> what did I just say? I thought he was dead, but he wasn't. He stood up and blew up. Son of a bitch. Another thing we could do is, is you know, just throw a... Throw one down there. Uh, you know, without pulling the pin and then throw another one, then we'll get a double explosion. Yeah, so we've got a double whammy on that. Okay, got a pot. Don't want him to explode. Did I kill him? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, we got a demo. Our first demo. We've graduated. See, the nice thing about explosives is they don't set off demos. Um, I hope turbines don't either. <laughs> that could be bad. Okay, so it appears that that is still the case in Alpha 19. That was one thing, one question I wasn't sure about, so... That's very good news. So we really don't need to worry about demos then either. As long as we don't shoot them. Dude, yeah, that was a good double whammy there. Beautiful. I guess the other thing too is, you know, as we get higher in game stages, we're going to be getting more, more demos and more irradiated, which means we're going to get more XP from the kills. So, 
You know, there's that, right? Is that spider dead? Got a copper. Double whammy. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. All right. Last batch. A couple of copper rooskies. Off with their heads. Off with his head, too. Ah, they're still coming. Those must those must be ones that were still kind of messing up in the, the funnel, I'm guessing. Big mama down there. Wow, they're still coming. Yeah, that must be it. They must they must have still they must still be in the funnel. And it could be like I said, maybe they're they're fighting the funnel, but they're slowly getting sucked to the center, like you know, in the into the eye of a black hole kind of thing. Alright guys, well I think um I think we killed the horde. And we almost got to two levels, so you know, almost as good as our other other base, but like I said, much, much safer. Phew! Oh, another one? That's a demo. All right, we're not going to shoot him. He's still alive. Tough sons of bitches, man. We killed the demo. Did we kill Big Mama too? Yeah. All right, let's just wait just a tiny bit longer. <laughs> Here, we can get these upgraded. Yeah, it's like I said, it's too bad there wasn't some way we could put a camera or something, you know, up at the top and see what they're actually doing up there. Let's get the blade traps repaired. And I think I think we're done. We'll turn this off. We can always turn it back on again if we need to. All right, guys. Well... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, deem this base a success. It doesn't appear to be quite the XP farm that the other one was. That is really interesting that that one didn't get hit at all. Dude! We're going to get handgun skill, too, when we respec. Because right now I only have one point in it, so it's pretty pretty lame. He might have just been a wandering Zikaru that happened to fall in. Alright, so, let's see. Let's finish the fence posts. That one never, never took any damage, either. Very interesting. This one did though that one got hit a few times i wonder why this one never did that's just that's really weird especially since i was standing here for most of the time you know all right well let's do this let's go uh get the loot first before it disappears i don't know how long it sticks around um and we did leave an eye candy up above too but you know what i don't want to go up there and risk 
uh, losing some of the loot. <laughs> Still more falling down in there. What in the world, man? Big Mama. Oh, I love my new sniper rifle. Yeah, we got this decked out with a uh, silencer, 8x scope, and a bipod. And um, I've got the, the, the perk where silencers don't... Um, we don't lose any damage uh, putting a silencer on. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a little bit worried about going down in there with these guys still falling through. Well, if they do, we should shoot them. Hopefully it's not, not a demo. That would not be good. Let's get this guy ready. <laughs> Just to get, oh, there are still zombos up there. Look at them. Look at them walking around up there. So it's it's almost like what I said. They're fighting the funnel. Hey, we got another bag out of the deal. That is interesting. Maybe I ought to put uh, the sledgehammer turret up. Well, it wouldn't operate. I'd be too far away from it. All right. Well, anyway, let's see what we got for loot. A little feral big mama action there. Yellow steel axe. Some dookies. Ooh, nice. We already have some of those, but it's always good to find night vision goggles since they're kind of rare. There's a machete. There's a machete schematic. Yeah. That's all right. Ooh, that's really good. And finally, a baseball bat. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so funny. It just ragdolling right on top of my head. They're, they're still up there, too. Wow. All right, you know what? Let's, um, I'll come back here later and do the repairs. Um, so, I'll, yeah, I can take care of that later. Let's go up and up topside and see what the hell's going on. Their AI is definitely different than it was in Alpha 18. Because in 18, they just piled right down the hole. Could barely keep up with them, you know. I I, I have a feeling like gone are the days where I could get four, four or five levels in one night. <laughs> which kind of sucks. Unless we get to figure out a way. You know, another thing we could maybe do... We could put turrets up at the top you know just normal electric turrets and what that would do for some of them is it would it would ragdoll them and, and they would fall through you know uh son of a bitch i left my good shovel down below right yep i did okay that's why we got this one okay let's put this one back so i don't forget it So, yeah, what I was saying is the turret, you know, the turret would hit him. In some cases, it would kill him, and then we'd lose the XP, of course. But in other cases, it would ragdoll him, and then, you know, then they would actually fall down in that case. Oh, son of a... So they still... They still did that. Okay, you, well, one thing we can do is we can we can upgrade at least the lower part of this to steel, because it doesn't look like they, there's any substantial damage at all in the upper part. Um, you know, to prevent them from, from breaking through, or it wouldn't prevent them, but it would, it would make, be harder, much harder for them to break through. And then maybe, maybe then what we do is we put a couple of turrets, maybe like one in each corner or something. And, um, see, you know, see how well that works. Very interesting. So yeah, that that's what they did, you guys. They got down to the bottom. And they they kind of fought 
being pulled down into the chute and started damaging that and actually managed to to break through. Wonder how far th through they got. Oh, they didn't get very far at all. Okay. So yeah, you know, if we if we upgrade this all to steel down here, um you know, considering the fact that this is all the further they were able to get to, they probably wouldn't be able to break all the way through by the end of the Horde Night. That's my guess. And then if we also add, you know, a, a couple of turrets down here, maybe. Well, I don't know. That Two turrets might be overkill because I don't want the turrets to kill them because then I don't get the XP, right? Um, I'm really glad, too, that I decided to... To, to double up on this too because that, that made a difference as well okay well still overall successful you know it's like anything else you uh, you plan you, you you come up with a plan you put it together you try it out and if it doesn't work you adjust and keep working on it until you get it to be a well oiled machine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the probably the let's see one two three is there any damage up here to speak of not really there's that but that could have been from them standing down here and hitting on this so i'm thinking maybe the 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 first three layers we upgrade to steel i'll go ahead and get these that are behind upgraded to steel first i'm not going to break those out and redo them if they break in the future, then, you know, we'll upgrade what's behind them at that point. Either that, or I guess I could, I could burrow in behind and get them from behind and then just fill in. Maybe that's what I'll do. Anyway, yeah, what I'll do is I'll upgrade the first three blocks to steel. I don't think we need to go up to four, based upon what I'm seeing here. Um, and I think, you know, the damage that's on this row four is just from Zeekers that were already standing around down here. They didn't really make it much headway into the stone, which is good. And um, I'll think, I'm going to think a little bit more about the turret idea. If we do that, we'll probably just put one because here again, I don't want the turret getting all the kills, but zomb you know, tougher zombos that it hits it could it has a chance of ragdolling and then if the zombo ragdolls it's falling down the hole there's nothing you know no two ways about it so i'll think about that and see how it and if i want to implement that but guys i think overall this worked you know we still need to make a couple of adjustments but i think overall it worked and worked pretty damn well so yeah all right well i'm gonna let you go thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye